How's it going guys? NFT Addict here with another video. Uh, just before we get into the project, just want to say that this is not financial advice, just showing off projects uh, that, that you might not have seen before anyway. Uh, could go up or down for, uh, I have no idea. Anyway, also could you leave a comment just for the YouTube algorithm? Really don't care what it is. Could be just simple dot, could be you telling me how much you hate the videos. Anyway, let's actually get into the project. So today's NFT that we're looking at is the Crypto Rangers. So these just actually had their reveal yesterday, I believe. Um, how much is total? I think OpenSea is still lagging behind a little bit. Nope, 1,900 Crypto Rangers right there. Uh, 640 different owners uh, with a floor price of 0.065 ETH. Their volume traded is 24.8. Uh, so still quite a small collection anyway. Uh, these are just upgraded ones I was looking at. Anyway, these are the art. Uh, so you could clearly tell it is a form of the Power Rangers, almost looking more badass with the weaponry, full armor, like the diamond kitted armor right here. Um, so yeah, artwork's kind of cool. Uh, cool theme to it. I don't believe I've seen a Power Ranger theme thing yet. Um, so that could do nicely. Anyway, let's look at the chart over here. So chart looks a little funky. That is just because of the mint. Uh, the minting, nah, this website or OpenSea doesn't show the minting and what actually happened on their website. Anyway, when all of them minted, uh, went pretty well. The floor price was about 0.1 about three days ago, 0.2 almost even 0.15 maybe. So about double the value of what it is now. The reason I didn't show it then is because after every single reveal in a mint, they always flop. It doesn't matter what the reveal is. I'm gonna probably be live streaming tonight. I'll show a huge example of this. Uh, so join in for that. Uh, anyway, after a reveal, they always drop. There's huge hype behind it, it builds up and then everyone flips, they make their money and then it crashes. Now. You could look at that as the best situation possible. That's what this has happened. So you can either buy a floor, I think. Um, let's go over here for it. Buy a floor 0.065, I think would be one strategy. Ride it up, wait till the floor goes higher. I think tomorrow floor could be even a little bit lower from now. Um, again, it just crashed, could be reaccumulating for about a week or two. Um, not too sure how long that'll take, but uh, you know, will reaccumulate, and I do think it'll go up again just based on the project. So you could buy one at the floor. You could also um, go for rare sniping. So what you could do for that is go on any armor, go down to the one of the bottom ones. You see here, there's 13 gold drip. Uh, so all the gold drip attributes, um, what is that, 0.1% less than 1% for that attribute? Cheapest is 0.47, 1 ETH, 1.3, and then the rest don't even sell out based on how rare they are, whatever people are listing them as. But what you can also do is come over to Rarity Tools, uh, search up Crypto Rangers on there, I already forgot it up. And here's the top 100 and really ranking every single picture here. So here are your 101 collections. I think that one looks the sickest, definitely. These are um, given out as giveaways. They're given out to uh, some of the creators, stuff like that. These are where you get to the really rare ones. This one's 1 1.5. Uh, I don't think it looks all that good, but again, it's number 21. Uh, 0.9 there, 0.45 for number 42. That might not be a bad snipe if someone were to get that. Anyway, the reason that you would get one of these rare snipes, uh, you don't want to go too far down the line, is because these will always be the most rare. So if the floor price goes up to, say, 0.2, these rare ones are all going to be worth, let's say, 1 ETH, 2 ETH. And if you bought a good snipe at 0.45, like that one was, it could rise up to 1.5 ETH. Again, not saying this will happen or anything. I'm just saying uh, correlating other projects and how rarity works, that could be what would happen. Um, what you don't want to do though is buy mids, mid tier garbage, just like your weed mids are trash. All right. Um, and what that is, is you come over here and you look at the, the bear fur even, Ooh, even though that was like, what was that? Like 20th, the best, like 40th, something like that. 0.45. That's a lot. I don't know if I want to spend that much. Let me go. 
Let me go not the least rare, even if I go down here. So let me go not the floor price, but if I go down to something a little bit more rare, but not too expensive, like this one, 0.3, no one wants to buy mid-tier ones. Why? Because it's not gonna be the most valuable that they go seek out on rarity tools, and it's not gonna be, whoops, <laughs> one of the first ones down at the list. What they'll need to do to buy yours is come all the way down, scroll all the way down here and go, that's the one I want, exactly that one. Why, how is it, do you really notice any difference here? One's got a golf club, one's got a gun. There's not too much different, you wouldn't be too mad with other one. Personally, I think this one looks better than all of those. You know what I mean? There is, no one wants these middle tier ones, it's so hard to sell them. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, here's the website. We can head over here to the roadmap. If it would load. Uh, what do we have here? Officially launch uh, their collection. Coin of Destiny officially be launching or begin stages development. Um, depending how they do this coin. Again, passive incomes are good. People definitely like that. And the word is always a, a buzzword and stuff like that. So people always put it. It depends how they deploy it. The reason that everyone thinks it's good and everyone likes it is because of Genesis Kongs and the fact that they can earn, what is it, $700 a day at the time of this recording. The only reason they can do that is because they were the first and how much money they've made previously. You can't just give people random money out of nowhere. The, the company, the creators need to get, have the money from somewhere. And most of the time, they want to keep some of that money for themselves so they don't think about reinvesting into their community, which most should be doing. Anyway, going off on a little tangent there. Uh, would like to see what that entails anyway. Um, Twitter, everything seems good. These artworks look sick. Yeah, everything looks pretty good about it. So I would just say uh, overall kind of finishing up, give you one more round. Um, Price just crashed, happens every single mint. Uh, if you're holding these already, don't worry. Just hold on longer, don't sell for a loss. It's not worth it. Um, definitely gonna be in a reaccumulating period for a long while. If you are thinking about buying one of these, I'd say uh, do a floor, maybe wait till it drops a little bit and then buy a floor or buy a rare snipe. They're good artwork anyway. Uh, I enjoy this project. I, I'm not, not saying I'm gonna invest in this one personally, but I enjoy it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you uh, drop a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Twitter if you want all that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, links in the description. Have a good rest of the day.